There we go. There hey, we go. Woo! Woo! It's happening now, son! <laughs> Woo! Welcome back to the channel, Fish and Freaks. I am back from Alabama and back from the Bass Master Classic, and it was awesome to see y'all there at the Mystery Taco Box booth. And amazing to see all the support for Guggen Squad, so thank you very much. After talking to all of y'all at the Bassmaster Classic about fishing, I just, I had to go fishing as soon as I got back. So as soon as I got off the airplane, went and got the boat, had a few hours, went out on the lake, and well, let's just roll some of that. Good one. Good one. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah, y'all. Got ourselves a big one. Got ourselves a big one. Shoot, it's windy. Man. Just a nice, healthy, solid fish. God, he tagged it too. Come here, baby. Come here. Oh, you got you got the double hooks in you. You got the double hooks. That is a nice fish right there, y'all. Whoo, baby. Fat, ready to pop. Look at that flat banger. Wedged in the mouth that's awesome so a little bit of crankbait bite going on here's the deal that was right before the full moon the full moon is now in effect as you guys can see and usually that throws things off if fish are our big fish are moving up they're starting to feed uh, right before that full moon because what happens on the full moon is the bass start to lock down on beds if they're going to be bedding and the bite usually gets tough so it's almost always the best like three or four days before the full moon then it kind of slows right before it which is when I went out and caught that nice fish on the crankbait so today we're going to be focusing on crankbaits and trying to cover some water and trying to find some fish at a lake I haven't been to in a while and I'm going with my boy Alex Perrick and uh, one of my favorite individuals in my life Matt Kendrick manager Matt I traveled to the classic with them you know we were all talking about fishing and we just all want to go so first thing we got to do today though is go to the doctor uh, actually not to the actual doctor but we're going to get another MRI I've gotten more MRIs in the last five years than I care to get but it's something I got to do got to do a brain checkup got a, a doctor's appointment later this week I'll get you guys updated on that but uh, you know, let's go get our body scanned and then let's go scan the waters for some bigots. See you guys in a minute. All right, y'all, we're out on the waters. AP Bassin, this is historical. I don't think we've done a video together that's not been a Guggen Squad video. So, uh, we actually discovered this lake together last year, and uh, two years ago or you, last year? Maybe it was two years ago. But you caught a hog out of here in the spring. We caught uh, some decent bass here on this channel. The water looks amazing. This day looks awesome. Let me show you guys something really cool that I found uh, that I didn't show you on the beginning of this footage uh, that I caught the other bass. You see this crankbait right here? This is what I was using. Uh, when I caught that fish, and we're gonna be focusing on some crankbait things today, but this right here, this is the first Guggen Squad hard bait I have found in a lake that somebody else was using, and it happens to be the exact same bait that I caught that fish on. Is that not crazy? So anyways, that's a, that's kind of a cool moment for us Guggens right here, because- no, it doesn't make sense. What's that? Just that. It like, doesn't make sense, does no, it? That's no. weird. It's like it was the same bait I was using, but one of y'all were using it too. 
the point is, guys, we're just really proud of them, and that was a cool moment. So I think I'm gonna keep this one as a little memento. It's like a, you know, full circle industry achievement. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Oh, got one. No? He hit it. He hit it? Didn't take it. Hit, but no take. Yeah. That was quite close to the bank? Yeah, no, close to the boat. There he is right there, I see him, suspended. Two pounder, nothing to worry about. So here we go, guys. We're, uh, we're doing a uh, multitude of techniques right here. I am cranking, uh, so is uh, MK Ultra with, uh, with Clutch. And we got my man, AP Bassin back there, going for hogs, going slow, dragging the plastics. I'm just gonna toss my recon out here, let it dive down, bump off these rocks, and see if I can get one of these. Oh, no. nice. Folks at home, folks at home. Did your lure just come off? Oh yeah. You I lost think... one of our only cash craws. <laughs> yeah, we lost her. I'm sorry. We brought some bangers today. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. How, how are you feeling about this 54 degree water temp back here? Oh my God. Fish had it. Just sitting there with it. God, it was deep too. Spit it, spit it, man. How baby talking? This might be a catfish. It's either a catfish or a big bass. I think it's a big drum. This is this is large. Holy cow. Oh, it's oh a God. oh, it's a big one. <laughs> oh, baby. This might be my PV drum. Oh, I don't know. I think I hit it. This might be the biggest drum uh, ever caught on a juicy jig. Uh, you know, you don't really have a face to grab. Get that nice this is the nut problem. Shot, shot right now. The nut shot. Just look like where your GoPro's going. Oh, yeah. Woo! You know, this is the time of year when you hook into one of these things in like 12 feet of water, dragging a jig slow, you think, you think it's her, but it's not her. That looks like something you'd get at a market in China. That ain't it. Goodbye. Wow. Drums always hang around bait. You know, I felt a little hit, but it wasn't, I thought it was gonna be a big bass because normally you feel that just something moving with it. Yeah. You're like, oh, it's a big one. I never really felt a thump. And then when I started feeling those head shakes, I was like, this feels weird. This is like a little too big to be a bass. Get him. Get him, Matt. You got him. Your line's swimming. Yeah, really, you're Goodness little... gracious. Would well, you look at that? Look at that thing. Would you look at that? First fish actually caught, yes. I didn't realize he was still there. He barked it and then. Was that on the baby trunk? Yep. Oh, All right, y'all. So, crankbait bite is kind of. Wow. Wow. Not happening. Doing big things here, boys. You probably just figured out the whole pattern. <sighs> That's probably it, yeah. Got him on the crank, guys. Good job. Crankbait. Craig Bader smoked it pretty good. Oh, it is a largey. Look at that. Woo! Let there be light. Let there be hope. Good job. Yeah, man. Cranked her on up there, huh? I got him. All right, y'all. That's a good, uh, that's like a one pounder. What do you think, Perrick? Yeah, probably about one. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's nice. Probably healthy. about one. We've been grinding. I've been trying to fish a little slow. I picked up the crankbait. Fish came off of a little rocky bank right there. So hopefully this is a good sign for the afternoon bite. Little male bass starting to move in. Water temperatures have warmed up about two degrees. And uh, that same crankbait right there. The same exact one that I found in the other lake. First confirmed bass in less than five feet of water though. Matt's other fish was probably in like eight. So. We have hope. We have boats coming in too. That's always a good sign. MK Ultra bringing in a uh, another pre-spawn tank. Uh, cold one. 
He's cold. What's the depth, you think? That one was decently deep. I mean, I would say you rip it back down there in that eight to 10 feet. Yeah, eight to 10 foot, man. That's where there should be a, just a toad. I, I like those two right north pockets. Just want to see what the water temp is up there. Could be good. It's called Crappie Cove? Yeah. Okay, let's go. I've had a few bites, y'all, but it's been a rough go. We just fished what we all thought was the juiciness. It's time for some lucky Skittles. You need to taste the rainbow. You need to taste that rainbow. I definitely would love some, bath some Skittles right now. Taste those guys. It's been a grind. We have gone about, uh, well, midway up the lake, and we just, it, it looked phenomenal. 59 degree water, we thought we were gonna juice one up. Did not happen, so we're going full send another couple miles of the river and see if there's any bass that wanna play up there. If not, y'all, it is tough cookies out here. Today. I think the full moon is a real thing. I think that was a gar. I think that was a gar? Yeah, there was one. I could see the back of the fish. I'm not kidding you. And I 100% got bumped. I just, I think I hit the fish. I don't think it hit my lure. Has to be on a bed. Why would you be back here? With, with, I am positive it was a bass. Let's freaking go. 62.1, baby. 66.8. Oh my. Fish. We got him biggin. Got him. Got him biggin. Give him some drag. Give him some drag. That fish is gonna get off. No, no, no. Just just be calm, man. Just be calm. Just be cool. Here we go, boys. Here we go. Got an actual situation here. We've been grinding. We've been grinding. AP Bassin taking a little break for the camera work. I like it. Oh yeah, that's a that's a fat juicy. That's oh yeah. Just bring me that face. Bring me that face. Oh, what a tanker. He's just stuck. He's not coming off. Got him? Yeah, hang on, man. Right here. Jeez. Just <laughs> calm down. <laughs> We're gonna get him. Look at that half a tail fish. <laughs> He's done bit bit off by a shark. Oh my gosh. Would you look at that? Freaking, how it's, many hours have we been out here today, boys? It's go time. We found him. We found him. What do we got? What is that? That's you a know, toad. On the banger. Man, I'm telling you, I hit a bass with a spinner bait that was on a bed. And then two minutes later, shows up. Oh, God. Oh, my God. There we go. There Hammer. Woo! It's got thumped on that spinner bait. All right, y'all, so situation we've got going on here. Crankbaits, we have found the fish using crankbaits. I literally hit a fish in the head with a spinnerbait. Matt's caught two nice fish with uh, the crankbait. We've gone upriver. We're in the back of uh, a cove now, and the water is 62.7. So they have decided to move up here with this full moon and start, start pairing on up. Problem is, um, they're just being really spooky and uh, they're thinking about other things besides biting. So, I might just have to go with the reaction bait bite. But we just saw our first basses on the beds for the first time this year, and it's really exciting. It's hard not to throw to them, see what they'll do. I can't see the lock on, but it is a large shadow. Oh, there it is, moving up shallow. Right here, right here, oh, guys. Oh, 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 it's a big it. one, it's a big one. I can't see where it's locked. I don't think it's locked. It's cruising. We're all getting a little jumpy here. Just hang on. We're getting a little tense. That nine is in here. Oh, 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 my, oh, God. oh my God. You got him. Oh, oh my God. God, no. Oh my gosh, that was a giant. Was it? Yes. I think I just hit on top of it. Yeah, I think you did the same thing I did with that spinner bait. Oh, sorry, I didn't like You it. spooked him. Whoa! Jeez, had him. 
That was my first bite of the night. Damn, you, you cracked on that sucker. Oh, they're coming to us right now. They're just moving in here. Oh, jeez. Oh. Jeez, you know, just, just dunk a $600 reel. Here at the end of the day, folks, we're gonna give it one last little run. These fish are up in the dirt. I'm, I'm yet to catch a good bass. I've only caught little ones. Crawfish color, crankbaits, that has been the juice. My manager, Matt Kendrick, he has been the one catching the fish on that technique. Let's see if Parrot can land this drone. This is always an interesting situation here. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Got, got bit. Oh, jeez. You got bit, <laughs> except it was by a drone. It's oh. been off before it hit me. You okay? Yeah, I'm good. I grabbed the gimbal, that's why. You guys are, are tuning into the Mexico series. I'll link the Google Squad channel down below. Our Mexico series is lit. Yes, I just used that word. Our uh, our our cameraman Wes, he lost a drone on the trip, and it was um, he was he was terrified. It was a tragic situation. We got fish here, folks. Kendrick, I'm just gonna let you catch them all. You know, keep throwing that sriracha craw, banger. Fish. On him, decent, on him. Decent, what do you think? Decent. 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 It's coming at you. Yeah, it's coming right at me. Oh, oh baby! Oh, buddy! Here we go. All the fish are in here. They all, they, uh, they all want that sriracha. That is. It looks like a drum. Let's see how spooky it is. Spooky as hell, but it's big. Drum? That's what I said. Like it's so big. It, I think it's a bass. It just super spooky. They're not. They're not ready. Fishing freaks, we're calling it. We're calling it here at the end of the day. Found fish in the back of a pocket. 62 degrees. AP Bassin caught some. Matt Kendrick caught some. I pointed them out, sort of. If you want to check out some of the crankbaits we've been using today, I will link them down below, and you can save 30% off all of those by becoming a Shop Carl's member. So check it out. We've got a long journey back to the ramp. And I'm going fishing with our old friend, RT. I'm not talking about RT Gibbons. I'm talking about Turkla. Oh, the trolling motor's down. Oh. Can you, can you help me out with that, sir? Yeah, do you need some help? I, we need that trolling motor for down? tomorrow. Stay tuned, fishing freaks. Keep it locked right here. Hit the like button for catching big old fat drums. And I'll see you on the next one.